Let's go chase down a little piggy. Come on over here. Give him a smack. Give him a smack with a hammer. Smack that pig in the butt. <laughs> not... Smack that critter back. Come here, look up. Oh my god. Beat that Fuck. pork. Beat that pork chop. Oh my god. Get him. Get him. Get him. He's running away. He's fleeing. Dude, you need to play some games in your car, man. Have some fun, man. This is hey, family friendly, please. I thought this. <laughs> Come on, beat that. Beat him. Give him a beat down. Oh, he's goner. Playing some Minecraft. <laughs> Be beating up some pork chops in the backyard. Get that critter. Give him a smack down. He's a goner. He's no match for my 13 inch tablet car and the TV mobile entertainment system, boy. Why don't you come back here? Today, I'm going to put a rear entertainment system in this new Kia Sedona. It's going to be a 13.3 inch. It's going to go right over here. Wait till you see how this thing looks and some of the features it does. It's really nice. Here is the product that we're going to be putting into this Kia Sedona today. It's made by a company called DD Auto, and this is their new 13.3 inch tablet, which is pretty cool. It's got these ambient LED lights, a nice glossy touchscreen, which is super reactive. It's got a 12 volt hardwired kit right here, plenty of cable, and a nice one way plug to make your connections for 12 volts. Except also, it comes with an extension HDMI cable. You will need to supply yourself with a proprietary cable. So in my case, I'm using an iPhone. So I'm gonna to wanna to get a lightning audio to HDMI adapter to hardwire and feed video and audio into this unit. Also over here, for the not so wiring savvy, this one here, you can plug into the units. I'm gonna show you in the side for power with an on off switch right here on the back, which is pretty good. I mean, it's not the most ugliest looking thing, but it's not the greatest looking thing either. But if you can't do hardwiring, this is, not so bad after all. For mounting it to your seat, it has all these different adapters which are located right here. Now in my opinion, what really sets this thing apart from everything else that's on the market, because there's a lot of choices. So this one here is more of a tablet, so it gives you a larger size screen, which is gonna give you a completely different experience for the rear seat passenger. This is not gonna be for a child in a rear facing car seat because of the size and the way it's designed to be mounted. However, for any kid that's later than, you know, an early middle school or an elementary age child or up or a big kid like me, this thing is terrific. I personally never had a lot of um, positive experiences with Androids in the past, except for my Motorola Zoom, which was the first tablet I've ever used. And I used to love that thing until everything else hit the market. So here's some nerd facts about this unit. It's a 64-bit Android 9.0 chip. It's a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core CPU, which is blazingly fast. Not so fast when I noticed on downloading stuff, but as far as doing basic functionalities, pecking on a keyboard and moving around between apps, this thing is pretty darn fast. So it's not like a lot of the old Android tablets that you might've experienced in the past. This thing is much superior to that. One of the favorite thing I have about it is the Miracast feature and the wireless connectivity. I love that because this thing is like, kind of like a computer but you could also use your phone and you can broadcast what's on your phone right onto this screen. So that's really cool. And once it's on there, you can just see whatever's going on in your phone. So if you're doing um, Amazon movies or Hulu or Netflix, or uh, if you're just doing computer stuff, breezing through photos, or if you're having games on there, all that stuff you could do from the screen, of course, or you could do it from the phone and Miracast, which for me, I just thought it was cool because I don't have that and I never use that. So for me, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you have a full on-screen wireless browser it really is a real pleasure to use this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this unit into the vehicle. I'm gonna show you how it works with a hardwired installation. And also I'm gonna change this to mirror the colors of the interior of the interior, as well as set it up to work with the Kia. So when you turn this thing on, it'll actually say Kia. It'll look like a factory installation because this is actually what Kia uses from the factory, believe it or not. Maybe not this brand, but it's kind of very similar. But this one, in my opinion, looks better. So if you look here on the side, you can see it has a spot for a TFT card, the HDMI and the USB, as well as the eight plug on the right side there for the 12 volts power input. You can see it's very skinny. And these little deals are what we use to mount it onto the headrest. I forgot to mention this unit also has an AC adapter. So that way, if you're bringing this thing inside the house and you take it in from the van, you can bring it in the house and play with it. And when you want to go back out for a long ride, you bring it with you, plug it back into the DC cord that is supplied with it. And I also forgot to mention that this thing has Bluetooth. So if you have a set of headphones, you can turn them on, listen to the sound by default. It's already built into this unit, nothing else needed to purchase, which is another really cool selling feature for me. So when you wanna mount your unit, first thing you wanna do is just get it in there. You can mount 
space these things out in and out to get it mounted where you want it to be. There's also a lock and an unlock button on here so you can lock your setting in. So when you first get your TV fixed up and mounted on the headrest, you're gonna have this cable here, which is gonna mount right into this. These two plugs will connect one to one. It only goes one way, so you can't screw that up. Now the other end, you're gonna have your 12 volts constant, you're gonna have your ground, and you're gonna have your audio video inputs. So this is gonna run out. This one here is optional, but I definitely suggest you do it because this is gonna give you the most performance, especially on this high def screen. Put your HDMI and just let those things run out. You're gonna have plenty of cable to run out. Most of the modern vehicles has this little panel. If you pull it with your finger real hard like that, you can kind of finesse that in there and you can hide these away. And you get the idea of it. You gotta basically run this thing down and when you get to this location, take a piece of wire loom or wire ties, whatever you're gonna use, go underneath the seat and you can just run over and, ha and do the uh, cigarette lighter plug or you can hardwire it like we're going to do in this video. This is what the unit mounted and installed fully in the vehicle, hardwired and ready to go. So this is on the Internet Explorer which is built into the unit which is awesome. So as long as if you have Wi-Fi in your vehicle like a modern vehicle, a lot of them are starting to have them built in. Otherwise you can just tether your phone and you can have unlimited internet right there, full screen right there in front of you. Look at that thing. That thing is sweet. So here's some of the screenshots of what this unit can do here. So that's your main home screen, some of your apps. So this is just the YouTube browser right there. Let's take a look at the app screen. What you're seeing right here, this is one of the app screens. You can see you got the installer, the AV inputs, calculator, calendar. It's kind of like a phone files, file explorer, which you can use with the SD card reader. So I showed you earlier in the video. Check your email, clock, you got the Chrome browser which is built in there. Not necessarily have to use that, you can change that if you prefer. And there's some other stuff you can see if you just swipe the screen. So what you're seeing here is some video games in there, gallery, HDMI input which you can use optionally because that wire is mounted underneath the seat. You get the MX player which plays a ton of different files. Of course you could also stream Hulu, Prime Video, it has a built in Play Store, Netflix. It's just like your home computer, literally in your car. And look how nice and seamless it is in the dashboard. That just looks, well, you tell me. I think it looks perfect. This thing looks like it was designed for this vehicle. Very classy, skinny. It's, it's, it's just, it just looks nice. It's like a waterproof one you would mount underneath. The look at this playback quality on the screen. With a shape handle kit, you can still access and pop the door open. You can get into your vehicle. I like Going this guy's there, YouTube channel. He's really good, I heard. switch in there, right? my friends is the finished product check out this video right quality. there that's 1080p that's you're looking button. at right there people gone are the days of suffering with this lousy horn button hello happy button <laughs> i told you it was a happy button and working with the mirror cast actually it's a team viewer app that i'm using a little video there of the old kitty that's my little romeo So here's the Team Viewer app, which I'm using to mirror the phone onto the tablet right there. So you can just go ahead and just whatever you're watching on here, you can watch on there. It's pretty cool, right? Just so many things you can do with this unit. It's so much fun you can have with these things. Here's a photo viewer too. Video playback, MP4, you can play movies, stream, I mean, you name it. Let's go crazy with this thing. Just look at how beautiful this image is. This thing's making me hungry. This unit has a built in set of speakers, which actually sound pretty loud. But it also has an FM transmitter, which will broadcast 
right into the factory stereo. So if you choose to do that, you can hear it through all the speakers in the vehicle. So if you had multiples of these units connected, like this master connects to slave monitors, like say you had one over there, one over there, or you know, whatever, you can go crazy with adding them on there and you can hear them all through the van speakers, whatever the vehicle is. It doesn't have to be the van, but that's what we're right now. So it's pretty darn good, man. It's got a lot of options. Plus, if you have Bluetooth, you can do it wirelessly and privately listen to your audio while watching the screen and not interrupt the other passengers while you're enjoying the music. These are some of the built-in colors you can change to match your vehicle's interior. I mean, they got one for everything. I really like that. That pink looks really cool and that red looks really good, especially in this vehicle with the red. Check out that red. Look at that boy. That looks nice. Look at it, like it belongs in this vehicle. Let's go chase down a little piggy. Come on over here. Give him a smack. Give him a smack with a hammer. Smack that pig in the butt. <laughs> He's not... Smack that critter back. <laughs> Come here, look at him. Oh my god. Beat, beat that. Beat that. Pork, beat that pork chop. Oh my god. Get him. Get him. Get him. He's running away. He's fleeing. Dude, you need to play some games in your car, man. Have some fun, man. This is, hey, family friendly, please. <laughs> We're recording here. Come on, beat that. Beat him. Give him a beat down. Oh, he's goner.